Hey, what's going on, everybody? JB here with another political video ish, political ish, I guess. Um, yeah, definitely political. Um, and today we're going to be talking about how YouTube's been censoring people a lot, and they just thought we're going to be going over the new sort of guidelines. Now, this sort of is going to impact me specifically and other content creators to make political videos, especially when talking about the election. I have to word, my, word myself very, very carefully right now. Very, very carefully. Um, I, I don't really know what this what I'm going to be able to do for the next thing about the election. I'm just going to refer to it as the election because I don't want to have anything YouTube get mad or anything uh, right now because I, I like my channel. I like to make content for all of you. I'm just going to talk about some of the hypocrisies and some of the big issues this is for the platform. Um, so if you're new here, I'm, so this is a little somber start. I start off with my usual like YouTuber slogan and then I immediately went somber because I'm like, wait, this I shouldn't be doing this. Um, but yeah, let's... Let's go on, but first things first, if you do like this video and you think it's informative, please, please, please share it and like it and comment below how I can do better. I always make the best content for all of you guys. Um, I've also made a gaming channel. I haven't set it all up yet, so I'm not going to link it yet. And I have Parlor, so follow me to Parlor, please, please, please. And yeah, let's let's go on. I have one follower. Oh, cool. I must have just got them today from that thing. Cool, cool. So, I, I, so that's what's pretty cool. So we're specifically going to be looking at... Uh, First things first, what YouTube's statement has said. And we're going to start with that right now. So, this is from, I believe, a day or so ago? So, yeah, a day ago. So, it said, well, two days when you're watching this, but it was a day ago for me. So, it says, YouTube, from YouTube Insider, our goal of this election was to connect people to, to, to authoritative info, limit harmful misinformation, and remove violet, uh, violative content. Subsequently, authoritative news was widely watched and recommended since September, removed eight thousand plus channels violating our policies so what policies are they talking about we they're not exactly saying is it misinformation is it uh, the 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 cpcs i don't want to say uh, the the, uh, the spiracies who knows uh let's continue on yesterday was the safe harbor deadline which i've never heard about they i i have didn't get a message about it until i saw this in, in, when i recommended from someone else that made a video on it now that enough states certified their presidential election results, will remove any content published today or any time after that alleges widespread voter fraud or errors changed the 2020 U.S. presidential election outcome. Now, YouTube, I want, bot YouTube, or whatever was looking at this, I'm not saying this, I'm repeating what you said. Continuing. We'll also update today our election results info panel, which already already serviced under 200,000 plus videos, which shown 4.5 billion plus times. It will note that U.S. presidential election results were certified and linked to the 2020 Electoral College results page by the Office of the Federal Register. And finally, there's always more to do. Striking the balance between openness and responsibility is one of the, our toughest challenges. Continuing to make improvements and apply our learnings from this election globally. That's very terrifying because YouTube is not acting like a platform right now. They're acting as a publisher, choosing who can see what kind of content and seeing, hey, we don't agree with this kind of speech we can take it down. There's a lot of conspiracy videos out there about different types of terror attacks and different types of um, school pew pews, all these different things. And those are up. Why are we not allowed to have, I don't know, maybe a video about something that seems like it could be? about the election, something that could be somewhat fishy with the election. I'm very, very, if you can, if you look at some of my older videos, you can tell I'm very, very walking around this a lot. I can't even put, uh, I get the hashtag election F or A U D. I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but I, I can't even put that as a hashtag anymore. I can't put that in my things anymore, which I, I don't really care about my channel specifically. Cause like I will try to abide by these rules because I, I do like to try to make content. And I want to grow on this, this and help people get good information. But it's just so sad that I that YouTube is literally censoring our speech. And it's not just like... Because you're not even allowed to... Even if they have like all the warning, the little things that say Joe Biden is one, uh, election is very secure, blah, blah, blah. F or AUD is very slim. Now we can't even say our opinion when those actual legal battles still going on. If they want to wait to... If they did this after the election was done, after like... Everything has been confirmed. Everything is done. Okay. Fine. But why didn't they do this in the last election when we've had the whole Russia hoax? All all of it for the last four years where they said, he's not my president. He's not the president. How are you... 
why, why are they choosing it now? That's just so screwed up. And if you look at the comments, it says, Oh, hi, checks notes. So you're just going to leave up content published before today? That will just widespread or arrows change the... Really? So yeah, those, those, those people are wanting more censorship. More. They want more. Oh. My God. They can, they can do so many other things. Literally. It, they can do... You can't do anything else. Thank you, Overlord. Saying there, I thought we'd have to think for ourselves. Literally. Yeah, it's very much true. It's, yeah. They do choose those sides. Uh, no, no, it's not. Literally, it's it's so bad. This is so bad. It's like, oh, this is such a bad meme, too. Come on, Republicans, you make better memes. But I really wish that it didn't come to this, because this is just literally a gross incompetence and a disservice to the public free speech that YouTube is doing. Yeah, even if you disagree with me on the uh, results of the elect election and you believe that Joe Biden is the president-elect. Okay, we can disagree on that. But I should be able to have the ability to disagree. A lot of Democrats disagreed with the fact that Trump won the 2016 election. A lot of people did. They, tr they went to Russia, they went to Ukraine, they went to all these things. They, tried to they impeached him and he still didn't get taken out. And now we have this going on. I think this is terrible. I think it's terrifying. For, for I think big content creators like Tim Pool will be fine. But I think Crowder, he was already in Thin Ice. I don't know how, what he's going to do. I think channels like mine, like 100 plus, just slightly above, is going to have the real big issues going on right now. I think that's going to be a big issue right now. But w what can we do? I mean, we we can all try to push back. But like YouTube's not going to really listen. Because th this is the so I, I want to focus on this. I don't want to keep going on and on. But yeah. I'm going to read this tweet. Yesterday was a safe rubber deadline. President elect, blah, blah, blah. Same thing, basically. States have sort of had the election results. Not all states have, though. So YouTube's reasoning that for the new policy is essentially you're not allowed to criticize the government. Uh huh, uh huh. Sounds like a little bit like uh, communist China, things like that. So Tim Pool says these were editorial guidelines. Time to start suing YouTube as they are now issuing direct guidance on what you can publish outside what is prescribed in Section 230. I don't know the exact all of 230. I just know that it allows YouTube and other companies a similar to it to act as a platform with free speech, things like that, but not a publisher because publishers can choose what they want to run, what they don't want to run, and that's what's happening. They're running this. They're saying, "Hey, it's all done. Election's done." Biden's the new president-elect, bam, 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 when there isn't really 100% certainty yet. Now, you may want to say that there is probably a high chance, which I would say the percentage leaning right now is leaning more to, if, if Republicans don't do anything, yeah, it probably will be Biden. If Republicans don't push for it, if you're a Republican or if you're a liberal or if you're anyone that wants to make sure that election is fair, I would say, hey, we need to support people that are saying that something could be going on again youtube be very clear i'm not saying that the election was you can, like, right here, right here. You, you can say uh, i'm trying to see right here so let me see right here so youtube is for me that if you claim widespread fraud or errors change outcome of that you will not be issued a strike oh okay, so i'm not i'm not saying that youtube so that, they're just taking that um there was st strikes after january 20th okay so but if after January twentieth, if the election is decided, I'm fine with that. That 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 makes sense. Right here, so the, YouTube. This is a quote. YouTube. YouTube. Blah, listen. This is a quote. You can say Trump actually won the election. You can also say that the election was blah from blah. You you must meet two conditions for video to be removed. You must claim that that or that and that so you have to put these all together i'm not saying it because i don't want youtube's bot to take me off so yeah you can still say that that the orange man actually won but you cannot combine the two you can still say that there is blah 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 oh, i really hate i'm sorry if you're if you're like somehow blind and watching this video you won't be understanding anything i just i just don't want to get taken down right now i really don't um but yeah this is what i think is really really upsetting that this is happening um but yeah, I think that's as much as I can really do. I will probably be mess I'll be using Polar more to like write messages about what I believe now. I may make it try to I, I might mess around with it more because I do want to get my actual evident like info out about it. And I can't do that obviously anymore on YouTube as much. So again, go follow me on Polar. I finally have someone following me, it's great. 
whoever that is, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Um, oh, this one actually got pretty good traction, not gonna lie. But yeah, um, I mostly use it just to get more views on my YouTube video, hopefully. Uh, they see it, they might click on it, be really good. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please, please support content creators that you do b believe are good. Um, we always, the thing is, I really, really do want the election to be fair. And I, I don't care who wins. I, 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 I know who I want to win. You guys know who I want to win. But I want a fair election. And I, I, I want that. I think everyone should want that. So that's how I think it should happen. But yeah. I'm going to end it off here. I don't want to keep rambling. Again, like, share, subscribe. All those things. Comment. Wish me luck at my finals. Because I'm. But if you're watching this, I usually let them out at 7.15 PST. And I have my first final at 8 a.m. So wish me luck. Wish me luck in the comment section below. I'll be up getting ready for my final. Finals for the next four days, then I'm done with my first semester of college. So wish me luck. I love you guys. Uh, stay with this. My usual phrase is Orange is Orange Man 2020. But I don't know if I can say that in this video, so I'm just going to say Orange Man instead. So we still got this. Don't give up hope. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace. Bye, guys.